I'll now pass it over to Dr. Manoj Jain for more information on how the testing will work and how to get signed up for this program. Dr. Jane. Thank you, Mayor, and good afternoon, everyone. Clearly, the numbers are going up, and that's a cause for concern. We're seeing the daily number of cases go up. We're seeing the transmission number being greater than one. We're seeing the positivity rate also higher than 15%. Uh, so what can we do? We know that masking works. It reduces the risk of transmission by five, uh, fivefold. We know distancing works. It reduces the risk of transmission by threefold. Also, testing works. So today, I want to talk about testing and the innovative approach that Memphis and Shelby County is taking towards this. It's called assurance testing, or we're calling it the test to protect program in Memphis. Assurance testing has five core components. First, that it's asymptomatic. It's done for individuals who are healthy. Second, that it's large scale. We're doing about three to 4,000 tests. We're talking about going to 30,000 tests per day. Third, it's low cost. Usually a test costs about $100. We're talking about reducing the cost to five to $30. Next, that it's regular testing, not just one time, but you're testing on a regular weekly or once every uh, uh, two weeks interval. And lastly, that it's convenient. People can do it with a do-it-yourself kit as in their office or at their home. So that is what assurance testing is. We have piloted this program, as the mayor has said. Schools have been doing it, and we've been doing it very successfully. Also, we'll be seeing restaurants starting to do this. My uh, businesses are doing it, including my office. For the past month, everyone in our staff has been tested at a regular basis every week. Churches have been taking great interest. Scott Morris had a long conversation with me, and we have multiple churches who are interested in this program. So a few things that we must know about this program is that it's for individuals who are not having any symptoms. Also, if you have also uh, not had any contact with someone who has been positive for COVID. So this program is for asymptomatic individuals who have not had contact and who have not had a positive COVID test over the past three months. We're really grateful and uh, with a collaborative relationships with the laboratories in Memphis. Jim Sweeney from Poplar Healthcare, uh, from AEL, uh, David Smalley, and a number of other labs have collaborated with us to make this possible. Using the strategy that you heard the mayor talk about called pooling. And what that has done is allowed us to increase our capacity and reduce the cost. This is a unique program, and Memphis is one of the cities amongst uh, few others in the country who has this program. 